Welcome. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what are the x and y inter intercepts of a linear graph. And the first thing, we need to make sure that we understand you know, where are x and y intercepts coming up with. Well, when graphing, we have two axes. All right? This is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. And each one of these axes is kind of like a little like line graph, where they're going to have points going to the right is positive, to the left is going to be negative. For the y-axis, going up is positive, and going left or going down is going to be negative. And there's going to be that point, which we call 0, 0, which we call the origin. Now, when dealing with uh, x and y intercepts, the x-intercept of a linear graph is wherever my line is going to cro cross my x-axis, and wherever my line is going to cross, or my y-axis, is going to be what we call our y-intercept. Now, it's important, since linear graphs, they're going to continue indefinitely, we know that there has to be at least an x-intercept or a y-intercept and a y-intercept, or a y-intercept, um, because we're going to have graphs that, you know, if I gra graph like this, we know that this graph goes infinitely in this direction and infinitely down in this direction. So if I was to continue this, we can see that this graph crosses the x and the y-intercept at these two points, right? I could also do another line over here, where you can see that the y-intercept is at this point, and the x-intercept is at that point. Now, a lot of times we want to use these intervals, you know, have it cross at an exact interval, so then we have an integer of where the x and y intercept is. However, we don't have to have both an x and a y intercept because we can still produce a linear equation or a linear graph with only, y with only one intercept. In this case, if I did a horizontal line, this graph is going to continue infinitely in, in, the, in the positive direction and in the negative direction. However, it's never going to cross below the x uh, axis. And I could also do that with a vertical line, where you can see this graph only has an x-intercept, and it will not have a y-intercept. So you're going to have, no matter what type of graph you're going to produce, on a linear graph, you're always going to have at least an x or a y-intercept, and sometimes, and more than likely, both. However, it is possible to only have one intercept. And remember, whenever the intercept is, that is where your graph is going to cross either the x-axis or the y-axis. And if they cross at an interval point, you can name it. And so in this point, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point we'd call 0, 5 would be the y-intercept. And this point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would be 6, 0. That's the point where the graph crosses each one of those axes. Thanks.